diseases of fig so now we'll see the list of important diseases in fig so my name is nn shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university so these are all the list of important diseases in fig so first one is anthrocnus which is caused by glomerula cingulata rust uh, physopella fissi leaf blight pellicularia coliroga mosaic fig mosaic virus and fig smut which is uh, uh, caused by aspergillus species now we will see in detail about one by one so the first one is anthrocnus which is caused by glomerella cingulata symptoms uh, we can mainly see on fruits we can see here uh, infected fruit is characterized by soft rot and a premature de defoliation of leaves can be observed but along with uh, uh, you know affected areas are converted into initially small black color or brown color spots are uh, occurs in in in, uh, in fruits uh, in later the spots are extended and covers the entire uh, uh, fruit along with yellow color uh, margins or yellow color surroundings can be clearly seen here yellow color surroundings so this black spots or this softening or soft rot uh, uh, appearance can be uh, extended and it later covers the entire uh, leaf surface and defoliation also occurs if you see the leaves yellow color uh, appearance of leaf and defoliation of uh, leaves can happen uh, the name itself anthrocnus indicates a black color anthrocnus like spots or uh, you know black color spots that can cover the fruits i think we had already seen this anthrocnus in banana and as well as uh, uh, you know in mango itself we can see the same type of a uh, black color uh, discolorations or black color covering uh, uh, in fruits so coming to the management aspects sanitation is extremely important in fig planting and along with uh, uh, infected plants or infected uh, plant parts can be removed so coming to the next disease which is caused by uh, which is which is a rust which is caused by physopella fissi so symptoms can be seen on the lower surface of leaves as normally uh, rust will produce a brown color or a black color or red color or, sorry normally brown color or red color rust pustules can be seen on the lower surface of leaves so this uh, uh, initially small spots will appear so later this uh, during maturity stage blister like pustules are uh, appearance can be seen uh, uh, on lower surface of leaves and along with uh, leaf also can be converted into yellow in color and uh, uh, we can see uh, yellow color leaves uh, in a little bit yellow color discolorations here in later stages the entire uh, leaf is covered with uh, i mean uh, converted into yellow in color and along with uh, death and defoliation of leaves also can be observed but the, but the major symptom is uh, uh, you know uh, brown to uh, red color rust pustules appears on the lower surface of leaves that was the first evidence of uh, uh, this rust in later stages defoliation and death leaf death of leaves occurs in uh, uh, in very severe cases uh, uh, you know uh, uh, entire plant will die it was a very problematic in the production of rust i mean in the production of fig so coming to the management aspects uh, fungicide application should be uh, started that can be uh, started in earlier spring seasons uh, and along with uh, uh, additional applications of uh, uh, you know additional applications can be required uh, uh, if there is no growth or new newly formed growth in plants can be observed along with uh, do not uh, spray when the fruit is 1/4 inch of diameter uh, and the spray residues will be the fruit uh, unattractive and moreover uh, uh, if we spray uh, after uh, if the uh, if, uh, that fruit attains uh, one fourth of its uh, diameter or size, uh, that also can be toxic and can't be recommended for uh, consumption. And the spraying of uh, fruit, uh, you know, resume uh, uh, spraying after the fruit has been uh, harvested. So we can't spray or we can't we can restrict the spraying before uh, uh, after uh, after harvesting of uh, fruit. So coming to next disease, leaf blight, which is caused by uh, which is uh, uh, caused by pellicularia coliroga. So coming to the symptoms, we can see, uh, uh, you know, earlier stages of infection, the leaves converted into yellow in color. We can see the here, uh, leaves are converted into yellow in color. Along with, if you see, a silvery white membrane can be, uh, we can see here in the leaves, and the upper surface of leaves is covered with a silvery white membrane, not completely white. It is silvery white, like you know, silver. Uh, I hope uh, you guys will know about silver paper. So it looks like it's a silvery white membrane that can be covered on the upper surface of leaves. And also, if you see, uh, you know, tip dying or tip drying of leaves can be seen, and the light brown color discoloration also can be seen on the uh, leaves in later stages. So in uh, in after conversion of yellowing and brown color discoloration or tip drying are marginal. 
they may be shrivels shivel, and fall down and the later uh, you know uh, uh, defoliation of leaves can be observed and uh, uh, in, in earlier stages uh, they will be normal of uh, green and yellow patches can be seen and uh, that slowly converted into brown in color so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, sanitation is the only recommendation that can uh, reduce the loss so coming to next disease fig mosaic which is caused by fig mosaic virus so the name itself indicates uh, mosaic patterns can be seen alternate green and yellow pat uh, patches can be seen here in the advanced stages of uh, development uh, with, uh, with the time what will happen the entire leaf is converted into green color i mean sorry red color sorry yellow in color so uh, you know along with that uh, uh, leaf size also can be reduced if you compare it to the normal leaf leaf size also can be uh, reduced defoliation can occur and uh, fruit drops also can be observed in the uh, later stages of crop uh, crop growth so this virus is mainly transmitted by vegetative cuttings and uh, uh, aerophid mite that is uh, asaria ficus and uh, uh, i know uh, if uh, if we uh, control this vegetative cutting i mean a uh, uh, proper using of vegetative cuttings and uh, vegetative propagative materials along with the control of this area of it might can uh, uh, check this disease so the management has control the selection and clean propagation of the stock insect material um, stock material and along with the uh, insect control for this area of it might control uh, can give uh, definitely a great achievement and control on this disease so the last disease is fig smut which is caused by aspergillus species so we can see here the infection of aspergillus causes uh, uh, we can see here black color moldy growth can be covered with this uh, uh, covered or you know uh, that can be uh, grown along with this uh, fix uh, this is uh, very problematic in the production of uh, uh, fig and as well as during storage especially we can see this uh, uh, this fresh fix or cavity of the fix is covered with this black color moldy growth or fungus growth that is aspergillus so here there are different types of uh, uh, uh you know uh, colors of uh, uh, aspergillus can be seen here bright yellow color aspergillus aspergillus acreacus and aspergillus melius bright green color aspergillus flavors brown green color aspergillus tamari and a dark green to olive color aspergillus parasitic parasiticus these are all the different types of fungi involved in the infection of uh, pig smut and uh, these tissues are get infected and converted into uh, powdery masses are uh, due to this infection so it is these fruits are unfit for consumption moreover this aspergillus produce a very dangerous uh, uh, toxin called aflatoxins which are un completely unfit for consumption so coming to the management aspects uh, so avoid the excess uh, dusting uh, uh, can be one of the management practices and uh, uh, choose the cultivars with the small osteol i mean uh, uh, you know recommended varieties or uh, cultivars should be uh, having a less osteol uh, size and small osteol size can be one of the recommended and along with the uh, there is no chemical control as i told you earlier that you know uh, if it uh, attains maturity we can't uh, go for uh, uh, fungicides or any chemicals uh, that can uh, uh, that can uh, you know uh, poison the fruit and that uh, is completely unfit for consumption as well as you know uh, for dried fig remove the figs at processing uh, plant uh, that shows the characters yellowing green fluorescence so if the fruits are the characters yellowing and green fluorescence uh, you better to remove the uh, excess drying and along with that uh, i think there is no resistant varieties or cultivars because it a post harvest disease we better to uh, uh, take care of the fruits and uh, during uh, handling and as well as especially storage so coming to the questions related to ars or net uh, there might be one uh, maybe castle organisms and uh, uh, one important question that i had seen in some areas is this fig smut so this fig smut which is caused by uh, uh, aspergillus because if you see all the smuts are caused by maybe the species of ishlag or some other uh, but this fig smut then we we all thought that the smut itself indicates that may be caused by ishlag or some other rust or smut sorry smut species but it is not caused by any uh, ishlagos or some others but uh, uh, fig smut is caused by species of aspergillus so th uh, this might be the one of the probable uh, chance of asking so this is about fig